Hello, strategy students. Greetings from Milan. This week, I'm going to be talking to you about product life cycle. Because, you know, that's what you do when you're in Milan and have nothing else to do. So, and the pizza places aren't open yet. Anyway, product life cycle. Basically, every product goes through a cycle just like a human. You know, it gets born, it's small, it gets bigger, then it dies off. Okay? So, in product life cycle, you have four steps. There's the growth phase. I'm sorry, there's the introduction, the growth, the maturity and the decline phase. Each one has different key success factors. Each one has different ways that companies compete, all kinds of stuff. And in an introduction phase, okay, what happens there is it's a new product, people don't know what it is. So you're spending a lot of money on research and development, a lot of money like the marketing and advertising just to explain what the product is. Okay? And so in this thing what you're doing is differentiation strategies. Okay? Why is the DVD player so much better than the VCR? Now you've got to be explaining these things. At that time, price for the products are always very expensive. Now, as you move on to the growth, in growth, it gets a little bit cheaper, but it's still expensive, and you're still doing differentiation strategies. So, against the competitors, well, we have a remote control. Oh, ours is in red, ours is in blue. Okay, so you find different stuff like that. Now, I'm getting bored, so I'll just talk while you can see some sites. Next, and also that's a differentiation strategy. Now, as time moves on, the product becomes more standardized. So, it can move production different places, and so we start competing on price alone. So, who can make it the cheapest? So we start moving our factories to cheaper places like India, China, stuff like that. And there, it's all about cost leadership. Who can make it the easiest? Because it's a standardized product. Okay. So our advertising is to get new people. It's just to keep people buying the same product over and over again. Then finally, you have what's called the decline phase. This is when the product dies off. Usually, that you know the dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Okay. This is usually signaled by the introduction of a new product. So for VCRs, the DVD player came. Blah, that was the end of it. DVD players, okay, Blu-ray and internet stuff came, and that killed that off. Okay, so it kind of works like that. Okay? And also in the decline phase, companies are leaving, the product's going out of business, and not making any more things like that. So there's a little product life cycle here in the heart of Milan.